Hey guys, how's it going? So, yeah, I couldn't stream the beginning of Metal Gear Solid 5 because fuck Konami, those motherfuckers. But at least, um, just so you guys know, this is the second mission. I already did the Afghanistan thing, which was pretty fucking cool. But now, I'll be streaming the rest of it from now on. That's cool, man. That's cool. It's all good. Just so you know, Ninja, I couldn't stream anything until I got to the second mission, which is what this is. So, just so you know. So like I said before guys, I couldn't I couldn't fucking stream anything because Konami was being a bunch of assholes, so <laughs> I love that dive. But anyways guys, I've already played uh, Metal Gear Solid for about an hour and a half. Um for some fucking reason, Konami wouldn't let me stream the first, like, hour and a half of the game. For Maybe it was a time thing, but... Yeah, so... Anyways, um, at least I'm able to stream now, which is awesome, so... Knock you off. Oh, shit! I didn't mean to punch you. <laughs> Okay, I didn't mean to punch you in the face. All right. Okay. This base belongs to you. Big time dogs, of course. Like any organization, we need good people, and we need to make good use of their talents. Miller asked me to lay that out. Start bringing people in. Use this. When you're in the field, use it to extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here. We'll see if we can persuade them to join the ranks of that house. Go on. Test it out in the staff here. Anyone? First, put him to sleep. You have a tranquilizer you gotta go. I'm ready, boss! Shoot me in the face! <laughs> okay. So 
that staff member was placed on the R&D team. The R&D team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that support your mission. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons items under the development list. What? You need more manpower for a cardboard box? You can also bolt and extract individuals you've knocked out. Why don't you try knocking someone out with sleep from sleep? Show them how it's done, boss. Try throwing them. It's the best way to knock someone out instantly. <laughs> That is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Okay, I'll just extract all of them. They all come to get knocked out.
That's cool. Meh. Okay. So I guess other parts open up later. I'm gonna see if there's any secrets. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm done with Mother Base. I love that dive he does. Go do the next mission. Hopefully it'll let me stream it, but I don't even know that. If I get cut off, it's because Konami can suck a dick, that's why, so just letting you know ahead of time. Of cool stuff. Mm 
Yeah, they do this on every single thing. I don't know why. I have a feeling this was Konami's idea. They wanted to do something that was episodic, I guess. See what the next part is. <laughs> What's this? Oh, there's a lot of tapes. See, I listened to all these tapes on the first mission, but unfortunately you couldn't see that mission because Konami can suck a dick, that's why. Okay. Okay, well, I don't think I'll listen to all of them right away, but maybe later, so... Anyways, let's, uh, get to this. I've taken the job offer as Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. The objectives of the missions I've added are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high-value target elimination. Probably all a walk in the park for you. 
should help you get back on your feet. I put the mission details on a cassette tape. Refer to it if you decide to accept the mission. We'll receive GMP for completing missions, and extracting soldiers and prisoners will boost our ranks. Building up Mother Base is the first step to achieving our goal. If that means wet work, so be it. We're gonna have to get our hands dirty. I hope you rest it up, because we're not stopping. Not until the pain is gone. The future of Diamond Dogs is in your hands. We're counting on you, boss. So, this map shows the map in Afghanistan, so even though Konami, for some fucking stupid reason, decided to block that mission, I can go and play it again. Now, just because I can play it again doesn't mean that they'll let me play it, but... Eh, I don't want to play the same mission again. Let's uh, try something else. So... so it's uh, 1984 in Afghanistan. If you know anything about history in the uh, 80s, uh, Russia, or as they were known, Soviet Union, they, I don't know, I don't know if they controlled all of Afghanistan, but they controlled quite a bit of it. Um, but yeah, that's all I know about it, so. Normally I would skip this stuff, but because this game is so badass, uh, yeah, we're listening to everything. and do this. So there's two places. Now this is just one little section. When you do the Miller extraction, you have this entire thing to work with, which is pretty fucking impressive. So both of these are danger low. Let's land over here, then we can go to the palace first. Or actually, you might not even let me do that. Oh well, who cares. Let's try. So, okay, I guess now you can select. I don't have any support weapons yet, but okay, let's see items. Night vision goggles. Phantom cigar. That speeds up the perception of time, so basically it's weed. <laughs> Taking all that stuff with me, I guess. Slug, buddy. Only the horse for now. Oh, you can get vehicles later, that's cool. Let's not do anything. Yeah, 
Yep, this game did come out, Dimitri. And can I choose the head option yet? No. Not yet. Um, let's see. Can I choose any other? All it is is Tiger Strike. Okay. We'll just do this. It's all right, man. Um, I I was I was here when the game first came out, and uh, for some fucking reason, Konami would not let me stream the first hour and a half. Cause they're asshats, I guess. So, but hopefully they'll let they'll let me stream this mission. So. By the way, if I if I get cut off, it's because Konami can suck a dick. That's why, because Konami has. After this game, no one will play a Konami game anymore because they have become the epitome of asshats in the gaming community. So here we go. If I get cut off, you know who to blame. I do like that they're making things episodic, that's pretty cool. And then they do this starring... It does kind of suck. Although you don't really miss too much. I mean, you miss some of the uh, some of the bosses that you'll play later, but you'll see them later, I guess. Now, every on every single episode, they show like all the people who made the game and all this. I uh, I don't know why. All right, right next to this. Okay, let's see where we're at. Now, like I said, like on the first mission where you have to, where you have to extract Miller, you get this entire area to go through. But I guess they're limiting you to ju just this area. So. I want to see if you can go outside this area though. Okay. Is it going to let me go outside this mission area? God damn it. it well, that sucks. So... That sucks. So for certain missions, you can do the entire map. Like the first mission where you rescue Miller, you get this entire map. But I want to see what happens when you leave the mission area. Do you just die out? Really? 